Now that we have the 20 most recent mentions, we want to send these off to MonkeyLearn for sentiment analysis. And we're going to head over to MonkeyLearn and just talk about what it is and what it does. So MonkeyLearn will allow you via their API to basically do text classification. And in our case, we're interested in sentiment analysis. So once you are signed up and signed in, uh, you'll be able to head over to the explore section. Now, the way that this works is you can create your own modules, which you can train up to perform analysis on text. But in our case, we're going to be using a pre-built one. This is a very uh, social way to share different classifiers. Now you can see here that there are a variety of different classifiers. We've got here one for retail. So if we just come into this and just take a look at what this looks like, you can see that this will give us a good idea when we send some text over what this actually relates to. Now in our case, it's a little bit more simple. It's still very complicated, but we want an English tweets sentiment analysis module to be able to perform on a tweet an analysis and see if we have a negative, neutral or positive uh, tweet. So this has already been trained with data. And in our case, we can just start using it. We can start using it by its ID. And we're going to be doing this using the PHP library. So if we just head over to the API section here and head over to PHP, we can see how we do this. Very straightforward uh, using the monkey learn client. And essentially this will just allow us to pass a list of text, the module ID, and then we can go ahead and classify this text list against this module and then we'll get back a result. So we need to see what this looks like with the tweets that we currently have. So if we start by just heading over to the monkey learn GitHub page, and it's the monkey learn PHP project that we need to pull down. So uh, we'll just grab this. So let's install this using composer. So let's do a require on this. We'll get it set up and we will see the results. So this is uh, finished and we can start to pull this in now. So just at the top then, I'm going to create a new monkey learn instance. So new monkey learn. And into this, we need to pass our API key. So you can find your API key over on the monkey learn site. If you come over to your account area, just here, come over to API keys and we can just go ahead and copy this and just paste it in to here and we're done. So we can now start to send requests off uh, to monkey there. So using that example that we just looked at with this collection of tweets, we can perform analysis on this. So I'm just going to create a variable here and I'm going to say monkey learn classifiers and we're going to classify using that one that we just saw. So if we just head over here to the modules section and this one here, we can grab it either from here or over in the API. You'll uh, find the example of it just here. So we can copy this, paste it into here. We want to send off an array of tweets, which we already have. It's that tweets text uh, that we did a map on. And that is pretty much it. So if we just do a var dump on analysis, we come over here, give this a refresh. Of course, after we've imported monkey learn. So let's just use this up here monkey learn client and we'll call this monkey learn so it's a bit easier to use we'll wait for this to finish and there we go so that text that we sent off we get back a probability and we get back the label so in this case we have neutral positives and negatives uh, it's just scattered down here and uh, that is pretty much it so we now know using this mapping which of these tweets that we have back is positive neutral or negative now, one important thing to bear in mind, these labels could potentially change depending on the uh, module that you're actually using. So in this case, we know that the labels are negative, neutral and positive. But if you do use another classifier, these may be different. And we're going to be uh, relying on the fact that these are negative, neutral and positive. So just bear that in mind. But we'll come to that later and we'll talk more about uh, what that involves. So now that we've actually uh, got the results, we need to start to assign a positive, neutral or negative emoji to uh, this. So now all we need to do is loop through each of the original tweets. So we're going to say 
grab the index. That's really important that we have the index so we can map it to the analysis from MonkeyLearn. And we're going to call that tweet. And inside of here, we want to decide which emoji set we're going to use. Now, we don't have any emoji sets at the moment. What I'm going to do is just to save a little bit of time, copy these over. So I'm just going to place these somewhere up here. It really doesn't matter. Obviously, we're just messing around on a single page. But once you go over to the Laravel version of this, it will be a lot nicer. Now, essentially, all these are just codes for emojis. And I took these from this resource just here. You can see that you've got a Unicode just here. And uh, you can extract this part of it and then go ahead and place it in here like this. So um, that's pretty much how we're going to be sending emojis off. Now, the reason that I have multiple emojis is that we're going to be selecting these at random. So if, for example, the tweet is positive, we're going to send a happy emoji and we're going to be randomizing this just in case the same user decides to mention uh, the bot at any time. And that's because Twitter doesn't allow you, I think, within a period of time to reply with the same thing. So it won't actually send our tweet. So we want to have a good selection of them. It's also a little bit more fun, the fact that we have uh, more uh, to reply with. So, of course, I'm not going to make you type all of these out. You can grab these as a free download from the course section over on codecourse.com. So now that we have our emojis in there, inside of here, we need to determine based on the analysis, which uh, label each of these tweets is. So we can do this in any way, but of course we can use a switch here, it makes it a little bit neater. And we're going to, from our analysis, so let's just say analysis, we're going to grab the result because in here, we can see that we have a result key just here. We're going to grab that at the index of each tweet. So what we're doing is we're looping through our tweets. We are uh, grabbing the index, which maps to the analysis on MonkeyLearn. We'll grab the first key in there. So let's say it's the first tweet that will have an index of zero. And of course, on MonkeyLearn, this will also have an index of zero. We map it to this. We grab this item here and we now have an array. So from this, we can grab the label. So inside of here now, we want to check if it's positive, neutral or negative and then assign the right emoji set. So the first one will say positive. And if that is the case, we want to set the emoji set to the happy emojis. And we can do the same thing for neutral and negative as well. So let's just paste this down and we have neutral and we have negative. And for the negative, we're going to have sad emojis. And for the neutral, we're going to have neutral emojis. And that is it. So now just to test this out, we can do a var dump on the emoji set and just see what this uh, gives us just to make sure that we don't have any problems along the way. So you can see here now for the first one, this was neutral. So we have a neutral set and so on and so forth all the way down. So we now have for each tweet, a set of emojis that we can pick out. So now that we have this, then the first thing that we want to do is reply. We then want to insert this into the tracking table that we saw in the last part. We'll talk about how we're going to set this up in a minute. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So we need to tackle the fact that when we actually do go through this, we need to store these in this tracking table. So in the next part, we're going to talk about the tracking table, we're going to set this up to track each of the ones that we've sent. So in this case, we're going to tweet the user just here. And then we're going to track. And that means that we can then go back and update the mentions uh, call to our Twitter or to the Twitter API just here. So we're not always uh, pulling back the same mentions. We need to keep track of ones that we've already replied to. So let's go over and we'll look at tracking in the next part.